Okay, ahun mana prove mana lagi? The conservation of kinetic energy. Okay, let's see energy conserved dalam mana lagi mana? It doesn't change over time. But you know, tenis koi tu energy ay kaya. You know, classical physics lai dalam energy mana potential energy na kinetic energy dalam mana? So let's see kinetic energy kapten si constant mo sa lalabas ng total energy mo alam na the potential energy is equal potential energy kapten si kinetic energy is equal total acho always it's a constant so this is equal to one energy equals energy potential plus energy kinetic one again owning up we want to find the conservation of energy one we we want to say okay energy doesn't change over time you have like a million amat ng bion pendulum in the zi swing here raga man energy to energy but i'm absolute beyond friction by normal now man the toilet friction now by no energy it's always changed the same no matter time it's like a change very man therefore our rate of change of energy with respect to time is zero got it the control so that's the only angle on your county and derivation on here derivating the energy with respect to time Let's just take the derivation of this time because these two statements are going to be the same after that. Let's see. Let's take dE over dt equals d of energy potential, the rate of change of energy, energy potential with respect to time plus the rate of change of energy kinetic with respect to time. So let's see. I'm um, these two in your number in your equation they're the same thing. Why? Because they are dE over dt is got dE over dt. You know, basically. So I'm just proving here. Since the ratio zero, you must be known like man. Over time, change ratio, a lot ratio. Sorry, the ratio you know, low ratio. No, we're talking about we're talking about the the derivative here. Zero, no, we learn like that. No, proof on that. So let's see. What is energy potential? It's one over two m v squared. Huh? So let's see m v squared. Okay. Um. Yeah. Kinetics. Uh. Kinetics. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Energy kinetic one of them is squared. So let's see. How many other move like that? It's rate of change man. So let's see. Let's see the derivative. You want it, right? Oh, this is right. So this is how you pronounce. Yeah. That's not true. So let's see. How many? Because it's constant, right? No man. Which ones are the constant? My little what kind of which one? Uh, mass. Mass or under lila. Uh. One over two. One over two. What I'm talking about. Velocity changes. Yeah. You know, man, it's zero. Now, but increase the energy. Potential energy build up. See, kinetic energy is just like me. Yeah. What I'm talking about. So now, see, here we have two things. Okay. Here, very last, what I'm talking about. Here, na. They are basically the same thing, man. So now, see, I want to measure the two energy. Now, that's what I'm going to measure the two. That's what I'm going to measure. This is going to be one over two m. D V square over D T. This is the equation of the rate of change of the kinetic energy model. So let's see. Now let's call this equation one. Now at the moment now the potential the move back. You see? Okay. So let's see. What does energy potential? It's the negative of work. A basic classical physics model. Yeah. So let's see. Work model the move model now. But sorry, my belt doesn't look good. I mean, but as in BUT, it's not BUT. So let's see what I'm doing. Work model, you might know. Change in work model, F times delta X model. Okay, force times displacement model. Let's see over X, over delta X, over delta X. Force is basically the rate of change of work with respect to x minus no. So let's see, it's basically d w over delta uh, d of x. Sorry. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, what I want to do is I want to I want to I want to quick cross it. Quick cross by the corner. The rate of change of work equals force times the rate of change of displacement. displacement. Now, integrating both sides. So let's say integrate and not Let's integrate both sides. You're gonna get the potential, the work here. Yeah. Equals f of dx. The integral of f of dx one. Alright? Yeah. Very good. Now I'm just gonna plug this in over here. Okay. Alright? 
So mm -hmm. our energy potential is what? Minus of the integral of the f of f dx minus no. Yeah. Gain your nagaranda. We don't want potential energy in our one your value. We're looking for the rate of change of potential energy with respect to time. So that's the very different other quantum one. Yeah. So that's it. D of EP over DT equals D of negative integral of F dx over DT. Sorry, sorry, my bad, my bad. What is the the derivative of the integral of dv? Sorry. It's d minus no. It's rate of change in terma. It's an integral time minus Okay. So that's it. It's basically dv minus no. Dv. Yeah. First, you're integrating it. So that's it. Chinam din na. Chida chitam din na. Kala yan na. Integral of integral. Integral. Min din na. V na ha. Yeah. So that's it. Basically, dv no minus no. Yeah. We're going to apply the same rule over here. It's you are demanding now. It's in your own sign that you want. Okay. Got it? That's a minute. Negative will carry on. Negative. F will carry on. F. Dx over? Over D. D2 will carry on. Yeah. Over D. Over D. This is the EP. This is the rate of change of potential energy with respect to time. Now let's call this equation 2. Kabish? Yeah. Okay, that's all. So, let's say I'm already a bit done. Come on, I'm a bit done. And it's just plug in my head, no? And it's just a little bit done. Up there. Yeah, where is my red marker? Okay, my blue shirt, that's blue. So, let's say, you know? No, sorry, where is it? You know, kinetic. Is it going to be done? You know, I'm going to be done. I'm going to be done. Is it going to be done? So let's see, let's rewrite this equation right here. The rate of change of energy with respect to time equals DEP over DT plus DEK over DT. Get energy potential DT in the line. Minus F Minus of, of uh, DX, D, over? DX over DT. Plus, what is our kinetic? Kinetic kinetic is square one over so m dv is square over dt. Shuf, I was gonna. Here's the trick. It's called uh, simple nagaranda. Mathematics man. It's it like it's very fundamental in calculus, kan man? Yeah. You know, it's also fundamental in algebra. Mm -hmm. Let's say I have a over b. Are? Yeah. A over B is the same thing as saying A over C times C over B. Why? Uh, Why? Let me explain this equation. Let me explain this equation. Because there is something that cancels out. This means A C over B C. Are you Yeah. But play that So let's even let me cancel that out. Uh, AC is equal to AC uh, times is A over B times C over C. Yeah, so as you mean cancel on, you can get one is at all. Uh, X is uh, here cancel by C. C. So it's given. Uh, Therefore, AB equals AB man, basically. Yeah. So let's see, N couple of G man, I can use that. Couple of DV. You have to put some bar on one. It's basically the same thing. Yeah. It's basically the same thing. So let's see, I'm going to do the same thing over here. Okay. Don't forget, minus f of dx over dt. I don't want this to be confusing, so let's end that kind of Okay. And dx over dt plus one over two on, and now, I'm going to give you my cuff Yeah. 
again that is dv square over dv times dv over dt is my right let me even math at chila but don't think mathematically it's am correct yeah in but dv over dt the same thing right the same thing yeah let me 1 over dv square so 1 times dv square means that it's what dv square my ras 1 times dv yeah so let's see over dt now it's basically the same thing as this one yes so let's see any cancel of one initial term so one okay but what is what is dx square over dx one at the moment uh dx square over uh it's give us uh dv square yeah. over dv okay what is this dx square over dx uh dv what the derivative of x square in there dv dx square over dx no what is the derivative of x square derivative oh 2x yeah. bro <sighs> dv over dt is one i'm just saying it's the derivative okay so let's see the derivative of x square with respect to x one to x and all the same thing over here the derivative of v square over dv minus one no two v two v that's what I want okay. minus f dx over dt plus one over two m which is two of what two v two v let me derive two two v over that mm -hmm. dv over dt dt something cancels over here yeah uh, uh two by Two. Awesome. What is the rate of change of displacement with respect to time? Which you know? The rate of uh, time? Yeah. Dis dist distance over time. Uh, my money. Distance over time. Uh, uh, distance over time. My velocity. Very good. So that's awesome. You know, fundamental nagana. Acceleration is always dv over dt. Velocity is always dv over dt. So over dt. Okay. Or another word, since velocity is hanging out, cruising all around, it is not acceleration number one. The second derivative of x with respect to dx dt square mara tin shala. Anyway, okay. let's forget that. It should not be the total number. Okay. So that is this means minus f v, v. plus mv times dv over dt what is our dv over dt mean? acceleration awesome so let's just write a okay okay but what is mass times acceleration mean? mass times acceleration is uh, uh, gravity uh, force 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 yeah. huh? so let's see fv1 yeah what is fv minus fv zero <laughs> Therefore, in a system, in a classical system, <laughs> which has the kinetic and a potential energy, they they cancel out and it's conserved. Yeah. It's very 